Hey BJD people, it's Danielle Vita Plastica here doing the BJD holiday tag. I do have some updates, but um, I'm just going to do the tag and then maybe it'll just naturally come out. I'm here with Tech Wee, who gets ignored too much. Um, Tech Wee in 2017 is going to get nice treatment. I am planning on sending this baby off for a really good like swamp thing type of face up and a boo production. Hopefully swans will be available to do that. I'm doing a video, swans! So, um, Tech Wee is looking a little festive with me. The, the one time the doll heart hat is going to come in handy is for this tag. And this is my husband's hat. I do not possess things of this nature. So, holiday tag, right? Okay, let's get started. Santa's beard. Have you ever tried to draw, paint, or attach facial hair on a doll? Um, yes, I have. You guys saw the the video that I did of uh, Mercy and Sabine's family, um, the slideshow, um, three of the characters had um, facial hair. One is actually the same doll I just um, erased. Basically, I just used watercolor pencil and then, like, washed it off and then did a different one. Like, I did, like, a big swoopy one and I did a little mustache and goatee. And then I dressed Gigi up as um, uh, Eli de, de Souza, G. Souza. And, um, here, just look at the camera or something. Um, sorry. I'm so rough. I'm so rough. These poor dolls are going to get abused on my watch. Sorry, babies. Okay. So, um, but I don't facial hair. Yeah, so Gigi, I, I just cut, like, a, just a piece of hair, um, like, wig hair, and I just glued it on there and glued a little goatee on. Um, and if you saw it on Instagram, hold on. This is, um, Gethsemane. And he is a club owner, and he'll be at the beginning of Black Moon. Um, so after I get this guy some eyes in, um, I'm also going to give him like darker circles and make him look like older, kind of haggard. Maybe I can do like a paint, a couple of white spots in there. And I did make him a wig, and I don't know when I'm going to learn that flocking on wigs is not exactly easy. And when you have to do a head cap on this, on these bumps. It's really noticeable if you're just flocking. So the flop wig did not work, but I'm thinking about um, some wig alternatives. I have like a black fur wig somewhere around here, and he may just wear that, or um, I don't know. I don't know. Because he also has to play a character in the next scene, so I have to make him look really different from one scene to another. So we'll have to decide uh, how the hair is going to go. But he should look a little weird. It's the future. I'm going to make this dude some clothes because he is wearing like a BFC ink, um, those, the, the big dolls. I don't even know where the doll is, but I loved her clothes. So he is just wearing sad clothes that don't fit him. So we need to get him, Gethsemane, and the next character that doesn't have a name yet. Um, and Zeb Schaefer, who are all this doll, except the Zile head, um, I'll have to uh, get them outfits. I totally went off on a tangent. It's like three minutes in and I'm... Yeah, so he got just flocked. I just did Mod Podge directly on his face and flocked it with some snipped wool roving and then just trimmed it up. He still is pretty shaggy and he's got some gluey spots, but I think we can disguise those. It's not important and it's going to be peeled off. But um, I like the way the flock looks and I think I would use proper flock. Um, like really fine stuff, not things I just cut myself. Um, yeah, I think it could look pretty cool. Wrapping paper. Have you ever, has anyone ever given you a gift for your dolls? Um, yes. Um, mostly it's when you're like trading or selling with another doll person. They just, I've gotten some extras like, you know, wigs and eyes or whatever, some clothes, definitely. Um, and when I did a trade with Libby, she gave me awesome tarot cards and all sorts of little freebies. When I did the trade with um, Tiffy BJD Craft, she gave me the, the like woodland mask that Nasiri likes to wear. And, um, oh yeah, but right as soon as I got into the hobby from the Barbie hobby, a Barbie friend who had a BJD, or has currently a BJD, um, sent me some clothes and some like pottery for Aniata, which was really sweet and really came in handy. And it's really it's actually, Gigi has it now. It's a little, like, it's probably, like, um, MSD size. But anyway, um, so lots of little presents like that. Nothing, let's say, completely out of the blue in the mail. This is for your doll. 
I did have, um, I bought some like Walmart lanterns. They're around here somewhere. Like that one hanging right there in Gigi's house, um, for a friend overseas. And, um, as a thank you, she sent me a shawl for Aniata. It's very, very pretty fucking knitted shawl. Um, yeah, and when I did the trade with Oscillate Wadley, I mean, she gave me, sorry guys, she gave me so much good stuff. It was really, really good. Um, yeah, I always like to get prezzies for the babies. Um, I'm probably forgetting something, someone, so I'm sorry if I, if I did. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Um, Christmas cookies. Do you have any food props for your dolls? Yes. I do, but it's very difficult because... A lot of these people are living in a dystopian future, so it's like, what are they going to have? Like some tinned meat or something? This is going to have to be, and the same as Aniana, it's going to have to be stuff that they're going to hunt. And so what I would really love is like an animal carcass. Um, I love sighthound ladies, um, little, like laying down, half stuffed, half sculpted, um, is it a unicorn? The horse? Is it a goat? I don't remember what it is, but it looks like it would be delicious. So something like that where you have like the clay or plastic or whatever head and then like a plush body where maybe, you know, they're skinning it open or maybe just a big side of meat. Nobody just makes like meat. It's hard because these people are not going to have like desserts and stuff and like sandwiches and Coca-Cola, but uh, I have been giving some to the, the baby, the new baby that's right in here. Um, I've been giving some stuff to her because she's, oh, oh no, check where you're bald. She's, uh, just seems like she needs, she needs to have cupcakes and candies and stuff. And that needs to be like the only food around her. I'm an irresponsible mother, really. Um, you know what I was thinking? What if you took some hot glue, right? And just put some hot glue inside of the wig. Would it create some kind of a nice gripping action? I mean, obviously not for some sewn wigs that have, like, a just cloth wig cap or whatever, but why not? I may try that. <sighs> I have no crafts for the weekend. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit, so I'm going to have to invent something to do. i got to paint this thing. I'm sorry, I'm getting off on a tangent again. Let me get your wig back, Tequi. How about we just wear the hat? Just, just be festive, Tequi. So anyway, um, oh, oh no, I'm not supposed to talk about that. I'm back to the list of things. Uh, right. So food props, I would definitely like to get things that apply to each type of person. A swamp witch, I need like a freaking dead beaver or something. Something that she can just skin up and throw over the fire. And, um, the, uh, Luna Noir, the post-apocalyptic gals. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, I guess, like, a squirrel, you know? Because these are not people who are, like, raised hunting. They, well, I guess they were raised hunting, but not, like, a, not in a recreational way, but as a method of survival. And when you're surviving, you're not always just going to bag an amazing deer. You're going to get a freaking squirrel. So, food props. Anyway, um, Hanukkah chocolate coins. Some BJD companies include treats and packages. Have you gotten anything sweet? No! I haven't gotten anything. Nobody gave me anything sweet. I remember Remet used to, they used to have this weird tasting green apple gum. That was nice. Monster Design sent me candy to apologize for a late wig. But I didn't eat it. It seemed a little weird, so I didn't. Um, but, but that's it. I didn't realize the BJD company would just be giving out candy. I need to do my research. Um, let's see. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made it out of clay. Have you ever tried to sculpt your own BJD or a prop for your BJD? Me sculpting a BJD <laughs> is a project that will probably not ever happen. I don't even find it necessary. I have no desire to do it. But maybe, like, in a few years when I want to move to a different level in the hobby, you know? Um, focus more on one thing than, than the other. Um, maybe, um, but I have sculpted, and this is the first thing I ever sculpted that was, you know, like not a Play-Doh snake. The uh, steer head there. And that came out really well, and I'm, I'm really proud of myself. 
It's mostly because I had a picture right in front of me. I tend to be able to draw fairly well if I'm just copying something I'm looking at, which is not a, not a good thing for an artist to do. It's not a good thing. Not other artists, anyway. Um, I think even the cartoon girls that I draw, I don't know. Oh, I moved them to the door. Um, I feel like they were based on something I saw when I was, like, 17 or something, 16. Um, and then I just tweaked a little bit and kind of made it my own, so... Sorry. Whoever original artist that was. Uh, not that I'm famous for being an amazing cartoonist or anything. Um, so that's my sculpture. A Festivus for the Rest of Us. Festivus is a holiday from the show Seinfeld. It's about resisting commercialism of the holidays. Is there a doll you're trying to resist purchasing at the moment? I love Seinfeld. I love Festivus, and I pretty much live my life by, by the creed. Airing of grievances and such. Feats of strength. Love. Love Seinfeld. I know. It's not popular to love Seinfeld, because they're not ethnically diverse, but it's friggin' hilarious. So, I love it. Uh, what am I saying? Festivus. So, a doll I'm trying to resist. <sighs> I don't have any money, okay? All my money's gone. I bought this dude and his lovely daughter, and now, and I got no funds. I've got to pay off my PayPal credit before I can do anything. Um, so, I'm not, you know, I'm not holding myself back from buying a doll. I think if I had the money, I would never hold myself back from buying a doll. I don't hold myself back when I don't have the money. So, um, no, I'd probably just do it. But I am craving... <sighs> I'm craving a doll so hard. I just... I've tried to just put it out of my head because... I don't know. I've been told it'll be really difficult, but the... Uh, Mary doll round to Zuri. Oh my god. She's so pretty. She gives me oh, feelings inside. This girl is so beautiful. Like, I feel like my life won't be complete without her. Like, she's a doll who I will just give a new story to. She will have a brand new story, her own props. I'll probably have to buy her companion dolls just to hang out with her. Um, because that face, oh my god. And the bodies, I mean. And such good, you know, oops, I just ripped your wig. Um, good, you know, reviews from Anne Picaro and Denali Wind about the, the posing and holding the pose. Yeah, I would really like to make that happen, so I'm really not, I'm just trying not to get too, too worked up about it. Um, but I think there's a pre-order coming in February, and if I can get down with that, I would like to very much get down with that. All right, so, um, yep, that's it for, like, serious desires. I feel like I'm kind of picky about BJD, so if there's one that I want, then I'm just going to have to get it because they don't all, like, move me. The aesthetic is not my favorite, like, the kind of cartoony-looking guy things. People do wonderful things with them, but I don't, I can't see past, past the sculpt. So anyway, uh, Kwanzaa Candles. Kwanzaa is about reconnecting with African culture. What cultures have you studied for developing your BJD characters? Technically speaking, I haven't done much cultural research, um, but I am a huge fan of Clan of the Cave Bear, the whole series, Earth Children. I haven't read the last one because, frankly, Shelters of Stone was just dreadful. I love Ayla, but nah. So, um, and if you don't know Clan of the Cave Bear, don't watch the movie. Just don't do it. Don't. Don't do it. Um, I feel like there's a kid looming. Like, right at the top of the little stairs right here. So I'm gonna check on that. Guess I'm being paranoid. Anyway, so yada yada yada. Clan of the Cave Bear. It's about a Cro-Magnon girl who loses her family in an earthquake and gets picked up by Neanderthals and she's raised by them. And it's about the struggles that she had to face while, you know, being like an independent modern human and having to deal with the sort of, um, I guess sexism is what I could call it, um, kind of the uh, inferiority of the women in the clan and how it's just kind of normal for it to be that way. Um, which is great and it'll fill you with girl power and it's all like got medicinal herbs and there's lots of magic in it and it's really great and I really kind of feel like it changed my life and um, 
I'm obsessed with it. I read it every year. Um, so Aniata is inspired by Ayla, and that's why I made her. So in a sense, you could call it, you know, researching a character, although the research came way before the doll. Um, but yeah, so I got really into Neanderthals and freaking Cro-Magnons, and so I did a lot of research there, and, and the book is so well-researched that just reading it is research. Um, although the research is dated because she didn't think Neanderthals could talk, and then evidence came out later that they probably did have some sort of a language. So that's sort of one thing. Um... I guess I didn't do, like, in-depth heavy research on, like, swamp magic or anything, but I have done research about, like, candomblé and macumba in, in Brazil and, you know, a little bit of voodoo and santeria, and that's, like, her faith. So, in a sense, that was research also. Um, but I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Um, I do believe Zev, well, I know, that Zev... Zev, Zev, <laughs> Zev is, um, is Jewish and, and so I want to do a little more cultural research there. Um, but I also don't want to be like, ooh, I got a yarmulke on, hey, look at me. You know, just like be regular, but I want to have, you know, maybe some underlying things, um, in, in, in the dialogue or something that could, um be a hint to his, like, upbringing and stuff. Because I want his parents to be kind of religious. Um, New Year's resolutions. Okay. I was going to do a separate... I was going to do that in the, um, the other tag. The end of the year tag. But maybe I'll do both. So this year... Um, I mean, 2017. Oh. I just... Let me share one thing. So I did a half wig for Sabine, and I think she looks pretty boss. I am loving this. I definitely made some mistakes along the way. Sorry, you can see her head putty. Um, was that I made a full wig cap and then put hair on it first without cutting it. That was dumb. So what I ended up doing, which I probably would do anyway, even if I had cut the wig cap before putting the hair on, um... Glue, I went and glued hair underneath and, you know, flipped it over and put saran wrap here, like, fairly loosely but holding it down, um, and let that sit overnight so it could be a little bit more calm, you know, you know how it goes. So, um, I really like it. I think she looks really tough. I really, I'm digging it. Um, I also made a bunch of dreadlocks. Like, I just found, like, a purple lock sitting here, and I'm like, oh, I remember once that my friend, um, Corset Kitten, she, um, she was in the BJD hobby and then went to the 1-6 hobby. She did a backwards thing. Um, right, so she just had, like, just put a little soap on her hands and some water and just, and boom, dreadlocks. And that's exactly what I did, and they were so easy. I made a bunch of them. Because, you know, once you, you get these wigs, a lot of it's, like, matted, and it doesn't, brush out right, so that's a good, uh, like, useful thing to do with the extra hair, because I want to learn needle felting. Oh, resolutions. I'm <laughs> sorry. That's where we were. All right, Sabine, look at the people. She finally got her flipping microphone. Um, it's a funny story. I'll tell you later. But anyway, I don't know how funny it is, but I'll just tell you later. Uh, what else do I have to do? Resolutions. So, everyone says, as I saw Alex L's uh, holiday tag today, and like she said, everyone's like, I'm gonna work on my dolls, but it's true, and I was like, even thinking about doing, um, Finn BJD's, uh, why don't you do stuff with your dolls, because I don't really do stuff with them, I make them wigs, I have bad face-ups, but I don't do half as much as I should be doing, I'm gonna have to, like, I think I might have to do that, like, boil treatment for her hands. Oh, wait. This is the right hand to use. Okay. Now she can sing. My, my microphone's too big for my face. But I can sing. All right. Sorry. So New Year's Resolution's working on the dolls. Everybody's going to get sweating. Everyone's going to get a cleaning. If they need it, they're going to get uh, their strings done. Um, and I, I, I need to, like, learn to sew more. 
I think um, I might start with uh, the You Know a Boy. Because I, I'm like finding some like things that fit Soul Vito and I know I'll have to take it in and I'm like, let's just try it. Especially for the first two characters that don't matter, like Zev will. Zev's got to get some real clothes, like nice, cool, collared shirts, nerdy stuff. Oh, they're so pretty. She's just so pretty. I love her. Someone said like, she's my mini-me and I'm like, ah, I look just like her. Um, what are we talking about? Oh, a project I want to do. Okay, so this is another thing. So, we've got big diorama crafts coming this year. We've got to build some sets for Luna Noir. We've got to make the swamp finally. I don't know where the swamp's going to live. I have no idea. I don't know where it's going to live. Um, but I want to do that. And my tree, the series tree. I was watching this movie the other day. Um, there's my wine. That's not the name of the movie, but that would be like the story of my life, basically. I lose everything all the time. Um, it's called Into the Woods with Evan Rachel Wood and Ellen Page. Juno and, you know, she was in 13. She was the vampire queen that Bill killed in True Blood and Marilyn Manson's wife for a second. Anyway, so um, they're sisters. The apocalypse happens, and they're in this, like, you know, their father's fancy cabin in the woods. Um, it's a great story. But anyway, there's, a like, a hollowed-out tree in, like, the, in the woods near their house um, where I guess they had, like, a, a little clubhouse when they were kids. There's, like, a little table in there. And it's got a roof of, like, a... Uh, it's corrugated, right, when it's all wavy? Is that corrugated? It's got, like, a corrugated plastic roof, and um, it has this opening... That's just like a natural sort of V in the, in between the roots, you know? And it's so pretty. And I've been so frustrated with this tree. I think I'm going to edit it up a little bit. I think we're going to take down the branches and just make it like a stump. Even though I, I know I have the cottage stump. But the cottage stump is, I, I don't even know where it is. I think it's in the basement. It just doesn't move me anymore. Kind of tired of looking at it. And it takes up a lot of space. And I don't have a character that fits it. <sighs> anyway, so I'm going to take the tree. I'm going to take the limbs off. Oh, sweetie. Um, maybe. And I might cut it down a little bit and just have this opening there. And then the, like a clear thing on the, on the roof. Um, that's what I'd like to do. Um, what else am I going to do in the new year? Work on the photo story. I'm going to try not to rush it. There's still some... Props I need to get settled. I need to get them some clothes. Um, it's a little daunting. Uh, other resolutions? What do I hope to achieve in the BJ hobby? Ooh, what do I hope to achieve? That Okay, so it's supposed to be what I hope to achieve. What I hope to achieve is uh, better skills and to make more friends and to support other BJD businesses other than the ones I've already supported. Um, and... Um, just um, be more involved in the in the community, you know, like especially with the Atlanta BJD convention or the um, Orlando retreat. I would like to get involved with either one of those, um, the local one for like planning and help or whatever. But the um, I'd love to go to Orlando next year and see all the YouTube friends that I've made, and um, that's about it. So I'm going to close this out because my phone is cutting off because it doesn't appreciate all this nonsense. Um, that's it. Love you guys. Bye.